The purpose of this video is to present the appropriate methods for artificial insemination in swine. The first question we must answer is whether or not artificial insemination is beneficial on the sow farm. With correct implementation of an AI program, producers should expect to see an increase in the reproductive efficiency of their breeding herd, as evidenced by greater farrowing rates and less non-productive breeding days, and will be able to cheaply and easily increase the genetic merit of their farm by sourcing semen from boars with superior genetics. Additionally, AI allows for improved record keeping compared to pen or pasture mating scenarios and because of this, producers will know the exact date of breeding, thereby allowing for a better projection of the anticipated farrowing date and better scheduling and preparation of the farrowing area. The most significant reason to implement AI is greater boar power, which is defined as the number of females that may be serviced by one boar. Through AI, the boar's ejaculate may be extended and used to breed multiple females, thus increasing the value of an individual boar as well as reducing the number of boars that must be kept on the farm. The goal of traditional AI is to deposit fresh, high-quality semen into the cervix of the gilt or sow. The cervix is also the location where the boar ejaculates during natural mating. There are different catheter types available to accomplish this correctly, such as the spiral tip catheter seen on the left or foam tip catheter on the right. Deep insemination catheters, such as the one seen at the bottom, are used when conducting post-cervical AI. In post-cervical AI, the semen is deposited directly into the uterine body rather than in the cervix. This video will not cover the process of post-cervical AI. A very good video describing PCAI has been published by colleagues at Purdue University and a link to that video is available in the video description below. The picture on the left shows the basic anatomy of a sow's reproductive tract as well as the correct placement of an AI catheter within the cervix. Here you can see that the catheter has been inserted through the vagina and into the cervix, stopping just before reaching the uterus. When inserting the catheter into the sow, it is important to do so in a way that avoids misdirecting into the urinary bladder. Improper positioning of the catheter when inserting into the vagina may cause the catheter to enter the bladder. Depositing semen in the bladder will not only result in a failed breeding, but will also cause significant discomfort for the sow. The picture on the right, labeled Step 1, shows the proper way to insert the catheter into the sow during AI. By inserting at an upward angle, the catheter will safely skip over the urethra and miss diverting into the bladder. The technician will then be able to continue to gently push the catheter forward through the vagina until resistance is met. This will be the cervix. These pictures of a dissected reproductive tract show the proper placement of a spiral tip and a foam tip catheter as they would appear in the cervix during AI. The tip of the spiral catheter on the left is designed to mimic the corkscrew shape of the boar's penis and fits well within the interdigitating folds of the cervix seen here. This catheter type must be rotated counterclockwise when inserting into the cervix to effectively lock the catheter into place. The foam tip catheter, seen in the right hand picture, does not need to be rotated when inserted into the cervix. Instead, it is gently inserted and locks into place by forming a plug within the interdigitating folds. The simplicity of the foam tip catheter is one reason why this catheter type is gaining popularity on swine farms. Additionally, the larger opening on the tip of the foam tip catheter generally promotes better semen flow, which reduces the amount of time necessary to breed one sow and the plug-like shape of the catheter forms a more tight seal within the cervix and reduces semen backflow and loss during breeding. Now, let's watch a trained technician demonstrate the proper artificial insemination technique using a foam tip catheter. First, the technician inserts the catheter lubricated with non-spermicidal lubricant into the sow at an upward angle and continues to gently push the AI rod through the vagina until resistance is met at the cervix. It is acceptable, but not necessary, to rotate the foam tip catheter into the cervix. At this point, the technician knows that the catheter has avoided entering the bladder and that the sow is sexually receptive. Next, the technician will connect the bagged semen dose to the catheter and lift the dose of semen above the sow to promote better semen flow. A gentle squeeze may be placed to begin insemination, however the semen should not be squeezed after this as it may cause backflow out of the sow's reproductive tract. You'll also notice the technician massaging the sow on her back, flank, and rump throughout this process. This is done to imitate the presence of the boar during natural mating. 
Massaging the sow causes hormones to be released that will increase the flow of semen into the sow and promote sperm transport to the site of egg fertilization within the reproductive tract. Once the semen has all been deposited into the sow, the empty straw is then tied off and left in place for a few extra minutes to prevent any post-AI semen loss. It is important that the sow remain standing during the entire insemination process.